My name is Gene Grieber. I'm the team manager and crew chief for CMS Offshore Powerboat Racing. Uh, today we're here in Key West, Florida at the Superboat International World Championship. Uh, we're going to be taking you through what propellers we run and, and tell you a little bit about the pitch and diameter and, and how they actually make the boat perform. The boat starts out with the engines, which are 1,650 horse apiece. They go, then go to the transmission that's a direct drive transmission. Um, it only has one gear which then follows to the propeller, which is actually how the boat is controlled as far as speed and acceleration. We will actually bring 12 sets of propellers with us per race uh, for the water conditions. So we have a, a broad um, selection of, of what we need in case the water is extremely rough or extremely calm. The reason we run multiple sets of propellers is if the water is rough, um, we will actually go down in pitch uh, which will give you more acceleration but less speed on the top end. Um, so if you have a flat condition, we'll run a very tall pitch. That way you have a lot of top end and you're not on the rev limiter before you get to a corner. Not only are these propellers uh, very dangerous, they're very expensive. So um, there are times where you will actually crane the boat in and have it on the wall ready to run and have to make a prop change. Uh, so the last thing you want to do for one is get hurt and the second last thing you want to do is drop it. So there are times where you actually have to change the propeller in the water which is very difficult. You know you got to swimming with a propeller is not easy and much less putting it on and finding the, the shaft to put the, th the nut on the thread which is not one of the easier parts of the job. Even though the propellers are extremely small compared to the size of the boat, um, prop selection is critical. I mean, you can literally make or break a race with what propeller you choose. 